Hi, I'm Lauren Seidel Baker, an economist at ITR Economics, and I'm here today to talk to you about phase C, the slowing growth phase of the business cycle. Phase C is one of the most misunderstood phases, and it's one of the phases where it's easiest to do the exact wrong thing. During phase C, growth is slowing, but it still is positive. It's very easy to just see that positive number, to see that sales are above the year ago level, and to assume that we're still on a growth picture. But it's important to know that's not always the case. The fundamental thing you need to know during phase C is whether your markets and your business are headed for a hard landing, that is a recession, or a soft landing, when a phase C slowing growth trend turns back up into an accelerating growth trend, the next phase B, without going through a contractionary period. Knowing that one critical item will help you make the best informed management choices going forward. Overall though, wherever your markets are headed, cash is king during phase C. Be aware of your cash balances, be on good terms with your banker, know where you stand and know what resources you have, what dry powder is available to you. During phase C, it's very easy to get caught up in linear budgeting. That's the very human mentality of saying that, well, we grew at 3% last year and 3% the year before, we'll probably grow at 3% this year and next year and into the future, we'll ride off into the sunset at that 3% growth. That's not the case, especially during phase C. It's easy to be caught up in the exuberance of growth, but know that a slowing growth trend can very easily lead to that recession and that you need to be ready now, not reactionary down the line. During phase C, uh, there's a, this is a good time to lose the losers. That could be an underperforming segment or, or region of your business, maybe a product line that just isn't quite relevant anymore. Or unfortunately, it could be a good time to naturally let some attrition take care of, of labor force concerns. During phase C, you need to know who your A team is, who are your best workers. Do everything that you can to retain them. But maybe the B players and the C players, well, this could be a good time to let natural attrition take its course, maybe not be replacing everyone if you are in fact headed for that recessionary cycle. Maybe it's a good time to be cross training just in case those cost cuts are coming down the line. Overall, during phase C, be aware of what's in your future, be realistic. This is a time to manage your backlog very strategically. You need to be very intentional during phase C. And as far as the, uh, the input side, don't be over committing to long-term expenses because this is very likely to be the peak of the price cycle. We're coming off of that high, that phase B accelerating growth when demand was up across your entire sector. It's very likely that a lot of your raw materials are at the peak of their price cycle. Locking in that cost now can really hurt you down the line. Be aware of those forecasts, watch out for what's coming next. But on the other hand, if you can be locking in long-term expenses, this is a great time to do it. We humans are naturally very backward looking. Most of your customers are probably still feeling their phase B accelerating growth and they're probably still pretty optimistic. You don't wanna be caught up in that optimism, but you do wanna take advantage of it where you can. Overall during phase C, there is a natural inclination to be exuberant, probably a little bit too exuberant. In some cases, you can use these management objectives to just be a little cautious, maybe pump the brakes in certain areas, and you might avoid that recessionary cycle altogether. We certainly hope that your phase C ends in a soft landing, that you're back up to accelerating growth on the other end of things. But if you're not, if you are set for a hard landing or a, a contractionary cycle, do what you can now, set yourself up for it, and you won't be hurting quite so bad during phase D.